How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're doing a really quick unboxing of the DJI Osmo Mobile Free Combo. Now you can get this as just the Osmo Mobile Free by itself or you can get it as the combo. I decided to get it with the combo because it comes with a handy little stand that will be quite useful for getting some pretty awesome footage. So I went for the combo pack and now this has been out for I think almost over a year or over a year. Uh, so I'm a little bit late to the game, but I wanted to check it out so I can get some awesome B-roll footage and I will take you through the journey with me as I do that. But for now, we're just going to do a quick unboxing and we'll get this bad boy out. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to do a review on this and I can look at doing that in the future. But for now, we're just doing a really quick unboxing. Without further ado, let's open this up. So I'm not too sure. Okay, just got like a little pull tab here. Okay, and then this should just pull on out, hopefully. Okay, not quite as simple as that. Now in theory it should open. Love the, the packaging, just like Apple. Very, very beautiful. And here we can see what we get in the box. Looks very nice. If we just pull this guy out. So it comes with a nice carry case as well. And we get this rather nifty little box. Nothing else in there, so we'll throw that to the side. So I presume it should be all nicely in its little package here. Oh, beautiful. And I presume in here we've probably got our charging case and things like that. What have we got in here? Okay, this is the accessories by the looks of it. So that's the little uh, stand that I was talking about. So this is what you get in the combo package, a little cool little stand that you can use. And it's really handy because it's so tiny that you can use it for all sorts of purposes. Uh, like if you want to put up your desk or when you're on the move. Just handy to have a little case. So I thought it was worth getting and it's only like $20 more to get the combo pack and you get a nice carry case and everything like that. So it seemed worthwhile. What else do we get in here? So we get some little anti-slip pads as well. That could be quite useful. And... Okay, so it looks like a handy little wristband, which would be quite useful as well. Okay. Oh, yes. And then this is the little carry bag, which is pretty cool. So you get a carry case and a carry bag. So it comes with literally all the accessories you could possibly need. Oh, there it comes. And then of course the handy little charging cable and then we've got the menu in there as well but that looks kind of awkward to get out so not going to worry too much about that and let's get on to the main thing that we want to, to have a look at here is the beautiful dji osmo mobile free damn there she is and she folds up absolutely beautifully now I'm not too sure um, what kind of charging this comes with. Uh, what does it say here? So with all DJI they have some nice handy little instructions that it comes with. It tells you that's where your phone goes. Uh, and then we've got our zoom in and out. We've got our record button mode. And I think that's the 
the direction that you can choose of the actual device. Now I suspect this probably needs to be charged. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and charge that and then I will show you a little demo of the Osmo Mobile Free. Let's charge it. Okay guys, so I got my DJI Osmo Mobile Free and it is all charged up and ready to go. Uh, I've had a little bit of a play around with it just so I know exactly how it works and then I can show you guys exactly what to do. Now the very first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab your phone and you want to put it into the DJI Osmo Mobile Free and make sure that it is nicely balanced. So as, as we can see here, and as the little DJI there, uh, so you want to go ahead and put it in the little sliders here get that balance that you can and then we're going to take it out and uh, balance it up so let's chuck the phone in first now you want to make sure that the camera goes on the left hand side of it so we just slide it in here slide it just below the power button there now that we've actually got it in there kind of just line it up with your eyes just to see what looks level to you and then as i said we want to take it out here now it naturally comes over to the side here and then you want to just hold on so you can see it's all flopping around so you actually want to hold on to this here and then line it up and see if it balances now we can clearly see here it's clearly too much to the right so you just want to slide it over a bit try that again and that's looking pretty good and then the other one is we want to make sure that it's lined up this way we can see it's not holding on this end so what you do here is you can see these parts here and you want to line those up so that it's in the middle here so if we just move that over slightly let's see how that is okay it's still wanting to tip to the left and there we go we can see it's holding that way and it's holding that way and then it should be able to hold when you go to the side a little bit it should still maintain the same. Now it can be a bit tricky doing this for the very first time. So if you get the combo, you actually get this awesome little tripod. We actually just, just pop that in here, screw it in. And then this comes out here. It's also just a little bit easier to hold on to as well, but that allows us to, and then you can do the same thing. So just pop it to the side here, line it up, make sure that it lines up. Okay, once that's ready, you just want to go ahead and boot it up. Just hold down the power button. And there we go, that lines it up. Now you want to make sure you've downloaded the DJI. Once you've downloaded the DJI Mimo app, you just have to connect it through the Bluetooth. It does it pretty much simultaneously, and it does take you through the process of how to balance. But I feel like to balance it, I mean, there are videos of it, but it's quite confusing. So I just wanted to take the time to show you guys how to balance it properly. Very important to make sure that you balance it for two reasons. The first reason is if you don't balance it properly, it's obviously not going to work very well. And two, it's actually going to wreck the motor and drain the battery faster if it's not balanced properly. So now that we've got this all set up and looking nice, we're going to go into the Mimo app here. All right, so now that we are all connected, there's a few things that I want to show you guys that you can play around with. Uh, the very first and most easiest one is you'll see here that you've got the mode option. Now, if you click on the mode twice, that switches you to landscape. And then if you double click it again, back to horizontal. So that is pretty cool. So it allows you to make sure that your camera is in the right spot. And of course, because we've balanced it, it will balance nicely. Uh, so we can go ahead and make sure that we just double check that it's balancing. And it's a really handy feature that all works with the Mimo app, which allows you to go from landscape to horizontal. Uh, the other one is, now if you hold down this guy right here, that locks it into place. So when you hold that down, you've got full control and it's going to lock. So it's not going to move. Whereas if we unclick that, it's going to actually move around with the orientation that you've selected. So just hold that down and that locks it into place for you. And then the really cool thing is if it's off centered from you doing some things, you just double click it and then that lines it back up to be balanced again. Uh, another really cool feature is you can go ahead and click on this 
little guy three times and that'll actually take you to the front camera and then the same thing three times and that'll take you right back to the rear camera. So it's got some really cool features that you can use. It's got the Active Track 3.0. So this is really handy if you don't have someone who can film with you. I feel like, I think that's kind of the idea of DJI's designs is they're made so that you can do it all by yourself and you don't need to rely on anyone to help you. So they've actually got the built-in Active Track and there's also the gesture mode. If you enable the gesture mode, if you use the peace sign or just your palm, That'll actually start recording and if you've got it selected it'll start the active track as well and that'll work in both the front and back camera so that's some really cool features so if we go ahead and try that out right now just want to select the gesture mode here turn that to on and that'll say identifying a gesture and i've got it on follow and shoot which means use gesture control to shoot while the gimbal automatically follows the user so we just simply hold it in front of us, make sure we've got it to the front facing camera. And if I just hold it up and do the peace sign, it's going to start following me no matter where I go. And this can be really handy, especially if you can't see the front camera, it's going to allow you to go in any direction and it's going to follow you no matter where you go. Even if I put it down here, and if I move all around, it's going to follow me no matter what. And then you just click stop recording. And then we want to just disable that. And then back to the center, like so, and then one, two, three. So to activate sport mode, you can actually do it through the clicker. So if you click it once and then hold it down, it'll say activate sport mode. And that just makes it super sensitive for when you're doing kind of sport type stuff. So we can really see here, it's going to be super fast. So that can work in active track or anything like that. Um, sport mode is just way more effective and then to release you just click it and straight away we can see here it's a lot slower so sport mode is really good uh, if you're trying to film like sports obviously or anything that's fast paced it is a really cool feature you also have slow motion time lapse and hyperlapse the really cool thing with time lapse is because you can attach this to any tripod you can actually move the time lapse as you go so let's say you were doing a one hour time lapse it could do 20 minutes here 20 minutes here and 20 minutes here and it just creates a much more awesome time lapse so it actually allows you to choose certain points that you want it to focus on for the time lapse and it'll just naturally move as it goes and it does this all automatically which means you don't have to do absolutely anything and it's just going to work seamlessly you can also enable one press active track so in that mode you can just go ahead and if i just click on that once it'll actually active track and that'll start active tracking the camera so we can actually see here right now it's following the camera all by itself and then that just disables active track so there's the main features that i wanted to show you guys we've got slow-mo we've got time lapse hyperlapse active track and we've got gesture modes it's pretty crazy all of the features that you can do you also have your handy zoom in and out so that allows you to create some really cool effects that you'll see in movies uh, now this is something that does take a little bit of practice i'm still very new to this um, so it's definitely quite challenging, but it is something that you can really get some amazing shot whiffs. And if you really kind of learn as you go, you can create some amazing footage. If you do want me to do a review on this, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. This was my quick little unboxing of the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. And when the fourth one comes out sometime next year, I'll probably be getting my hands on that one as well. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you did enjoy this video, I'm sure you'll love my other videos. Go ahead and check those out. And I'll see you over there. Peace out. Pssh.